Okay, in part three, we're going to make all of our parts, which we have done already, and then we're going to put them together. So we only need to make one of each part. If you were having five of these in your object, you would only still make one here, because we're going to switch to the assembly tab to put them together. At the start, there's nothing in there, so we'll come up to insert, and then all of our parts here, and you can see the beauty of naming them. You would actually be able to know which is which. Maybe you would name them A, B, C, D, depending on your cutting list or something like that. So we're going to start with part two. I'm going to click. I'm going to put in four of them. So click to the side there, to the side in the middle, and then tick. So back in our part studio, we can't actually move anything around without going inside and editing the sketch that it was based on. But in the assembly, we should be able to click and drag to move things around. Also, if we do a single click, we'll have this come up here and we can use the one on the outside to rotate. It does try to snap. So that one can be 90 degrees. I can use the arrows to move things around. I'm gonna rotate it 180 degrees. This way, you can type in the exact number. And I'll move this roughly into position. It will probably help you with the next step to move things roughly into the position that you want and have the right orientation. Okay, the next part is the most important part, and that is to get a snug fit between our two pieces. And to do that, we're going to come up to the Fastened Mate, or the M keyboard shortcut. We need to select a side or an angle where they're going to be touching. So, for instance, this lower point here will be touching exactly on the same point here. We're going to click them one at a time. What we need to pay close attention to is the color of the blue section here. We can see the blue is facing down this way. So when we click on the other one, we want to ensure that the blue is also facing down. So we've started, it's actually facing outwards this way instead of down. So we need to spin the camera. Okay, now it's facing up and down. And when we click, it slots them together. It's possible that maybe it was the reverse of what you're expecting. You have this button here to flip it around. And sometimes you even need to press this one to rotate until it's facing the right way. Once it's facing the exact way that you want, you can hit the tick. And these now are stuck together. They're fastened to each other. Let's delete these two, click and then delete, and we'll have a go to our dovetail joint. So I think it was part three. Let's put in one, well, wrong one. Hit the tick. Didn't actually want that one, so we'll delete it. Okay, once again, we'll start by rotating it into its rough orientation. and moving it roughly into position just to help when we're manipulating the camera. Okay, we can see that these are more or less where we wanted them to be. Just move it a little bit further away so I can see what I'm doing. That looks great. Click off. And we're ready to do our same one, fastened mate. So this time I'm going to say that this middle of this line is going to come across the middle of that line. That should be easy for me to click. So I'm going to click here first. We can see the blue line is going up and down this way. So when I click here, I also want the blue line to go up and down. So as, the, as an example, if I come to this surface and come here, the blue line is now going side to side, which is the wrong way. So I'll start on the top surface and then drag it to the edge. And then when I click, we can see it locks in beautifully. Some other ways that you might join things. Let's put in this part here. Perhaps we wanted to glue this directly onto the middle of this. So we'll go the fastened mate. We'll spin the camera underneath. And we can see our blue, it snaps to the middle as well as all the corners. 
and then I'll do the exact same thing here. You can see our two blue poles are orientated the same way. So when I click, that snaps to the middle. You can see where this tool we were looking at before will come in handy. Perhaps we needed to orientate it a different way. Maybe we wanted it that way. Hit the tick when we're done. And we basically repeat building up our objects until everything is assembled and going the way that we want.